The country's energy ministers have been shown proof Australians are paying too much for electricity. They're meeting in Brisbane to try to determine the best way to bring prices down. I asked political editor Mark Riley if this is a significant admission. Yeah, it sure is. It's the first official confirmation of what consumers have known for a very long time. Australians are paying far too much for their electricity. The ACCC boss Rod Sims has told the nation's energy ministers here that the rate of increase in our soaring power bills simply can't be justified. Consumers might be paying double the price they paid 10 years ago in inflation adjusted terms and that really shouldn't have happened. The meeting here today agreed to 49 of the 50 recommendations made by Chief Scientist Alan Finkel in his recent review of the national electricity market, all except for the big one, the clean energy target, which is the subject of fiery debate within the federal government. But Federal Energy Minister Josh Frydenberg is still claiming victory. This will be remembered as the meeting where the ship changed course. We hope they end their divisions, but if they don't, we need to act. And fresh from Europe, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has responded to that dire warning issued yesterday by Craig Kelly, the head of his government's Energy Policy Committee, that pensioners will die this winter because they can't afford to turn on their heating. Mr Turnbull was asked about that on Sunrise this morning and whether he believed it was true. I absolutely hope not and I can assure you we are doing everything we can to bring downward pressure on energy prices. The agreement struck here today will now go to the next leaders meeting of the COAG Premier's Conference with the clean energy target again at the top of the agenda. Back to you.